get to hop in with Rhino Baseball, one of the owners of the program, and a lot of our infield here stuff. Uh, we got Cherokee with Bo here, who's one of our instructors. Uh, Cherokee next year, right, will be at uh, Wisconsin Milwaukee, uh, continuing his Division I uh, playing career. Um, we're going to walk through some drills here that you can do in a basement with a tennis ball. Uh, very simple stuff, but you get a lot of good quality work in. So the first thing that we're going to do is all you need to do is a tennis ball and a wall, either in your garage or the basement. And the main things here is we want to make sure that our knees are just past shoulder width apart. Okay, something I always talk about with our players is hinging the hips. Okay, when we hinge the hips, now our butt goes back, our back's flat, and our chest is up front. Okay, and we all really want to make sure our head is up front through the baseball as well. And all we have to do on this one is throw the ball against the wall, okay? And we're really working out on front. We don't need a glove on this, okay? We really want to just isolate the hands and really get soft hands and working on our hand uh, placement and out front playing through the baseball. Um, notice Cherokee's head, always down through it, okay? Um, you can do as many reps of this as you want and get really good quality work in, okay? Everything he feels is up front, playing through the baseball a little bit, and remember, back, hips, all that. Now, you can also go glove side, okay, and really work on playing through the ball. Remember, when we play through the ball on this, on glove side, we never want our hands to go this way. Pretend like we're actually playing in a game where we're playing through a baseball this way with our glove, okay? So you can work on glove side, and then you can actually flip it around and go back in as well. Again, playing through the baseball, same posture, Okay, and you can do, again, as many reps and moves as you want in the basement by yourself. You don't need a glove, you don't need a baseball, you don't need a partner, okay? Okay guys, another drill that we can do is a short hop drill. Again, no glove, isolating the hands. We're gonna work on the same posture. Now you're gonna get closer to the wall, okay? And you're really gonna work on getting a short hop to you when we do this, okay, I really want you guys focusing on killing the hop, okay? We never want to try and get that big hop where we don't know where it's gonna go and the ball's gonna play us. We always wanna attack that short hop as much as we can and kill it, okay? If we kill that short hop, we're gonna be able to control that hop. So Cherokee's gonna kinda show us here one of some of these hops and really going to attack that short hop and playing through it and killing that hop. Again, these are things you can do, no partner, ball, wall, and that's all you need. Now, if you do have a partner, if your dad's at home, you can always do these drills too with a glove, with an actual baseball if you want as well. All right guys, so another drill. Uh, you can do this with a partner and a glove if you want, um, but if you're sitting at home and, and no parent, nobody over, uh, again, you can grab a tennis ball on a wall. This is working on quick hands and your exchange. One thing we don't want to do, guys, is go out and reach balls for it, okay? We want the ball to actually come into our body. When we're talking about a throw, our hand is a lot slower going here to here than a throw coming in, right? So we always want that ball's momentum to kind of take us where we need to go, okay? So Cherokee's going to demonstrate this a little bit. So let the ball come into his body, let that ball's momentum take him, okay? Using quick feet. Now, in a game when we're talking about using our glove, we should never close that thing and go. It should almost be a deflection, right? When we're talking about how quick our hands are. Notice how he's deflecting the ball. It's never close and go. He's actually deflecting the ball into his hands, working quick hands. And we always talk about, guys, if the, if, if the baseball's around our body, when we're pretending like that we have rubber bands around our hands, where it's taking us like this. We don't want to go here and then this way. We want those rubber bands around our hands. There are times when the throw is going to take us this way or this way when we can't, but for the most part, we want rubber band hands. Guys, another one we can do, again, tennis ball, wall, something by yourself, is more of a hand coordination drill where we're throwing two tennis balls against the wall at the same time and really just working on hand-eye coordination with this. Okay, Cherokee is going to do kind of two sets where his hands and palms are up a little bit, and then he's going to go a little higher where his hands and palms are up this way. Really works on the hand eye coordination. Okay, and then he, uh, Cherokee will actually then switch it from where his palms up, and now he's going to go up here where his fingers high, okay, and really still working on that hand eye coordination. 